Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another mod overview for The Sims 4. So this time I am showing off the Granny's Old Recipe Book by Lil Bo Bob. So right now it has around a dozen new recipes and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more added in the future. So it is kind of an interesting sort of change because I'm used to all of my food related mods <laughs> coming from Ice Mon Mon, but now I have even more thanks to Little Bo Bob. And there is only one recipe I noticed that was kind of similar to Ice Mon Mon's, but otherwise they're pretty unique. So it's nice, even more variety. So these are just some of the recipes. This is not all of them, but there's some drinks, there's some desserts, there's some meals. So it's kind of like Ice Mon Mon's too, in a sense that you do need to download the base mod, which is this Granny's Cookbook right over here. And then you can pick and choose whatever recipes you want. So let's just go into build mode here. So if you just start typing Granny's in the search bar, then you'll find it pretty quickly. It's in kitchen appliances, and it does come in a good variety of different swatches. And it says Granny's Old Cookbook, worth 45 simoleons. Granny's Old Cookbook, full of family favorite recipes. Oh, the good times. Recipes download separately, littlebobo.tumblr.com. It has one environment score. i just place that down there. And there's a few different varieties of designs here, where you have the more sort of like cozy um, stripe sort of pattern. And then you have some plain ones, like that one, that one. So that's pretty good. And then you have ones like that where you have different sort of writing on it. I like how there's also some bookmarks in there. Just uh, nice uh, little details there. Oh, by the way, some of these recipes are compatible with the restaurants and dine out and some aren't for some reason. I don't know. It's kind of strange. And also they don't have the proper thumbnails when you set them up in the menus. You can see the names, but for example, the soup look like microwave dinners, so hopefully that can be fixed in future versions because I'd love to use these in diet restaurants. I mean, I guess I will anyways, but still just to really set the mood, have the proper appearances for them. Thankfully, they do look okay once you actually have ordered them and they're out in the world, but yeah, just something worth mentioning. So yeah, let's get to showing off all the different food. What you actually need to do is have the Granny's Cookbook on your lot. There's no other way to have them besides ordering them at the dine-out restaurant. So just click on this and then you can see there are three different menus. So there's quick meals. There's no cereal yet. So that's probably going to be added sometime in the near future. But there is some soup. So there's canned soup, there's canned tomato soup, and canned carrot and coriander soup. And you just make it in the microwave. So we'll make this one. I'll have Clara do this. I just chose the Bjergsens because they have plenty of counter space to just show off everything. So there you go. I love how this is in a cute little cup with two handles. But yeah, there you go. Just heat it up so it is like other microwave quick meals in that way. Oh yeah, it's also kind of strange that the soup and the dine-out menus appear under main course uh -huh. instead of appetizers. I thought they'd be under appetizers. Though I did also notice that with Ice Mon Mon's <laughs> pumpkin soup, so I don't know. Might or might not be intentional. No, we're not going to go to the festival. Guess we're probably gonna get a text in a few seconds saying, Oh yeah, the New World Drinks Festival is so cool, you should come with me to there. And, and they'll be like, no, no, I don't want to come to there because I'm talking weird and I need to, I need to rest, I need to lie down. <laughs> well, it is almost 3 a.m. when I'm recording this anyways. So, there you go. Just uh, eating that soup. Oh, what? Sent me money. 
Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, that's from the Slice of Life mod, I'm pretty sure, but wow. Um, I don't think that's ever happened to me before. That's interesting. Still discovering things about that mod. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the foods that I already made before I even started recording. Like this Winterfest pudding is really cute. So even though this is not specifically a holiday themed video for Christmas, it has a little bit of that going on. And then there's the canned tomato soup. And the eggnog! That's my favorite thing in this so far. <laughs> it really made me realize, oh, we don't actually have eggnog in the game yet. Because every year now, I'm always wondering, huh, what could Maxis do for the yearly free holiday DLC updates? And, well, eggnog. They should definitely put eggnog in the game. What the heck, Maxis? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I wouldn't even mind seeing that before a holiday update, but I mean, just something they can do then for 2020, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then pot roast, and there's also some meatloaf, and angel strawberry cake, but we will make some more. Let's click on this again. Um... Well, I, I guess actually what I can do is have uh, Bjorn have one of these. Uh, let's have him make other soup here. Yes, make some chicken soup for the soul. And let's have her make... Um, let's go for Granny's recipes. Make a meal. Uh, I've not made the chicken and dumpling yet, so I'll have her do that one. And, okay, she's, she's pretty much done, I guess, with this. Alright. Okay, so Bjorn is making the soup. I think most, if not all, the food have um, very similar processes to base game foods, though. Some of them are recolored at certain parts, so it looks more like the actual food, so that's good. Uh, okay, just fast forward through that part there. Homework complete. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that I think looks a little bit different. Oh, cool, and Elsa, not from Frozen, uh, did uh, her extra credit homework. Oh, wow! Most of my sins fail at doing that, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, okay, so let's finish that. Let's have him... Uh, you know, winter fest pudding. It looks pretty cute. Um, let's grab serving. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It actually is a heat wave <laughs> here in Windenburg at the moment. Oh no, witness the uh, bully. D yeah, just do that. That's the only choice. <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, it's in the middle of summer here in, uh, <laughs> in my Sims universe, but uh, yeah, just keep making that. And... Oh, well, I didn't see, like, the individual one as it was being eaten, but it has a... I think it does look the same as you can just see the individual ones on there. Alright, let's have him eat some meatloaf. I'll take your hunger down again. Yeah, <laughs> UI cheats extension mod. Uh, have you been learning anything new lately? Yeah, that's another thing from the Slice of Life mod. Uh, okay. Parenting level one. Okay, she finished the chicken dumplings, but that's what the meatloaf looks like. So, yeah, it does look a lot different while it's being eaten by a sim. Yeah, I guess that is just another one of those foods that should be in the game. But there is the chicken and dumpling. Oh, yes, I love that in real life, so I'm sure <laughs> I love eating that in The Sims as well. Uh, you can have uh, maybe one of the kids eat that. Uh, oh, okay, she's gonna load the dishwasher. I'll let her uh, eat one of th uh, that since she is hungry right now. Okay, let's make another one. Um... Well, I guess, yeah, the meals, I made all of them now, so uh, let's start from the top here. I'll make trifle. 
And what's good is that at the moment, none of the recipes need more than level 3 cooking skill. Wow, did you see that? Elsa just like blinked <laughs> in and out of existence for a second. Jeez. Alrighty then. But alright, yeah. Got some apples involved and some watermelons. Uh -huh. She's feeling inspired making all this food. Just move this over a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that also has a different appearance while in that bowl there. Special singing acquired. Oh, that's from the Road to Fame mod. Jeez, all these other mods that I'm not meaning to show off or being shown off in this video. <laughs> I don't know what could end up being seen next. But yeah, see, this is, this is interesting. This one is pretty unique where it has a different sort of serving uh, state there. Uh, can they have uh, Sophia... Help herself to this one. Alright, and let's make another dessert. And let's go with mud pie. And uh, it does note on the download page that it's not actually mud the Sims are eating. It's just pure chocolate. It's just called mud pie because reasons. Alright, so you can make that. Okay, so that's what the trifle looks like individually. I've never had this. Actually, I've never even heard of this food before. So, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if I would enjoy it in real life. Oh, that sim is just wanting to visit for some reason. Hello, anyone home? Well, I suppose we could let her in because we're making so much food. And then, uh, well, no, we're going to have another sim eating our food. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, just invite in. Okay. Yeah, just pat that down. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Throw that behind your back. Her cooking skill, I think, is at level 9 right now. Yeah, that's almost maxed out at this point, so... Makes sense that she's pulling that off. Whoa. <laughs> this is like the things were sticking to the... To the pan. <laughs> Physics. Sims has none. All right. Oh, she's maxed the cooking skill now. All right. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Uh, all right, so then let's make another one. Dessert. Yule log. I like how this one looks. Yeah, this is the one. I'm pretty sure I have a similar one from Ice Mud Mud. It might not specifically be a Yule log, but it's like it's like a log sort of dessert. Oh no, now this counter's getting dirty. Alright, yeah, put, put some pepper in that cake, because that makes sense. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, she needs to be- well, actually, I'm gonna- I'll cheat that up. Okay. And you're feeling focused. Oh, wait, what is he doing? Oh, mentally planning for personality time. Oh, that's another slice of life thing. But, alright. Yeah, just keep baking that. You a log cake. And... Okay. Oh, she's feeling very confident. Alright. Yeah, maybe she can help herself to some of this. Yes. Alright, to grab serving. And... I think we just got a few more to make here. Uh, desserts. Uh, oh, mince pies. Yeah, I made those other two. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> That's a weird form of dancing. Just, just uh, bending the knees a little bit. <laughs> Reminds me of um, I think his name is Mr. Zero from F Zero GX. Whenever he does an interview for any of the pilots, he's just kind of like bending his knees unnecessarily. <laughs> it's so weird, but. All right, yeah, you can just do that, and wait, no, um, oh wait, no, I could just call to meal. Oh wait, is this one spoiled? No, that one is still excellent quality. Okay, that's cool. Uh, maybe then, let's see if I can, yeah, call Cassandra to eat that. Um, oh shoot, I missed it. Well, have another one, because, because, uh, at least I like Yule Logs from what I remember. 
It has been quite a while since I have had one of them, but oh yes. Yes, they look so tasty. <laughs> okay, oh, I should have had someone clean the counter, but oh well. We just got this last one to make anyways. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, there we go, she's eating that cake there. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks pretty nice. Okay, so, oh, earned 208 simoleons on her day off. Okay, it's taking a little while to make this one. Even before she started talking to her daughter. Alright, hey, those look pretty good. Oh, she's gonna put that on the... On the fishbowl table, I guess. Oh, there's a dirty plate there, too. Oh, boy. Alright. Uh, but, yeah, those are the mince pies. And, well, that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, for this mod overview. So, I would definitely recommend downloading this. Because it does add a decent amount of food variety to your game. And, thankfully, this does work with um ice mon mun's food as well so you don't need to worry about conflicts between the two and i did notice that little bow bob has a document where they've taken various requests for food to add to granny's cookbook so it does look like there could potentially be a lot more in the near future i'm looking forward to that very much <laughs> So, this is the last video that I'm doing before Christmas, so if you happen to be celebrating any holiday this month, then I hope you have a safe and happy holiday season with your loved ones, and if you're not celebrating anything, then I just wish you a great day, as I usually do at the end of my videos. So, I will leave the link in the video description below to go download Granny's cookbook and all of the recipes. And with that, yeah, I'm just gonna end this off here. So, thanks for watching. Just wash all those dishes. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing she has a dishwasher. <laughs>